morning. You ready as you get up? <laughs> yeah. All right. Good morning. So I didn't sleep very well. Um, you can hear my cat in the background. She wants to go outside, but it's storming outside and it's raining. So every time I open the door, she's like, oh, let me think about it. No. But she keeps on complaining that she wants to go outside. So this is my life. Anyway, I didn't sleep very well because I think it's because I have my first appointment at the hospital today. <laughs> Pika, I'm gonna see if she goes, if she wants to go outside. Let me warm up. Okay, so I just left the door open for a bit so she can stare into the darkness and rain and I'm not going outside. Anyway, um, today is the first appointment in the hospital so that's probably the reason why I slept very bad. Just a little bit nervous, I think. Um, on the other hand, very excited. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this, uh, this huge cup of tea and I'll... Uh, I'll see what the day brings. We're driving cars on a Mars tonight. We're passing off to the stars tonight. We wanna go, go. We wanna go, go. just came back from the hospital and um, let me get this off. Okay, yeah, blood test. Have to wait for the blood test. It will take about two weeks until I heal, hear more. But my first impression is what nice people um, at the UMCG in Groningen. She's in the north of Holland. Yeah, I'm actually very excited how fast everything is going to be now. Yeah, let me sketch it a bit. Don't know if you, if you're able to see it, but let me draw a line. Like this is now, we're here. Uh, it's the, the the 31st of January and in two weeks I will get a telephone call, a telephone meeting where I hear about the results of my blood test and I will also be able to start testosterone if everything is okay. So that's very exciting and that's the 14th of February. That's so fast. Um, well, it's it's not really. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time, but this this it sounds very fast in my opinion. Then after four weeks, like uh, the fourth of March, fourteenth of March, I will get a appointment where it's like a heads up. Is everything okay? Uh, is everything fine? And then the fourteenth of April. It's, it's very difficult writing this way. I will get another appointment to see if my blood pressure is okay and to see if we can continue testosterone. And that's a bit the procedure, procedure about hormones, but um, in two weeks I can also decide what I want to do with my chest operation. So that's very interesting because I thought I had to wait for a year to check how the hormones feel, how the hormones are working and then be able to do the operation. But, and there is a long waiting list because of Corona, but there is a private clinic they're working together with, which they can uh, assign me to. And then I'll be able to probably have my operation before the summer, which is um, interesting and uh, scary at the same time, um, because I wasn't expecting that. But I'm, yeah, I, I have two weeks now to... to figure that out and to think about this um, but I yeah I mean before the summer holiday would be amazing because then I um, I will have the time to recover and after the summer I will be back on track and also be able to work full-time again um, so yeah it's, it's something I didn't expect but I'm quite happy with now what did they do today uh, was just a checkup 
uh, checking my lungs, checking my heart, checking my weight and a blood test. And f further on today, yeah, it was just a bit of talk about w what is going to happen um, physically and mentally. I got a list with all the, the things that might happen, like for example, acne, um, growth of hair, a, be a beard, um, hair loss. I'm not really sure if I'm happy about that. I am not happy about that, let me say that. Muscle mass, um, fat distribution, menstruation cycles, bottom growth, and the things that come along with that. And of course, the lower voice. So I see a couple of interesting things to measure. Yeah, also hormones, um, start of hormones. There are basically three options. And two options are available from the start. Uh, one option is for later. The first option is injection, the second option is a gel, and I can't remember the name, but if I remember, I'll put it here on screen. And the third option, which is not available yet, is also an injection, but the difference is that the first injection you will need to take every three weeks, and the other injection you will take every three months. It's not available at the start because they first want to check how, um, how my body is handling the testosterone. And the differences between a uh, injection and gel is that an injection will have a peak. Like when you take the injection, it will peak and then slowly go down. And with uh, gel, it's like every day the same amount, so it, it's a bit more moderate. So there isn't really a peak. My first feeling is to go for oh yeah, and the, the third, the, the second injection over three months will have will have a boost, but it will will gradually slow down. Um, but my feeling for now is to go for gel. Uh, there are obviously some downsides because you need to put on the gel every day. And also, yeah, you can't really touch anyone uh, in the few, first few hours because um, I can't even, I believe I can't even hug my cat because then I will get a puffed uh, cat. No, I'm not really sure, but it's, 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 um, I gotta be careful with that, not to hug people after I just put on the gel. And you need a couple of hours to, to let it intrekken? Let me search that word. Um, absorb? Is that the right word? Absorb? I don't know. Yeah, so you need to uh, absor let it absorb for a couple of hours before you can go for uh, a swim, for example. So you gotta be a little bit more scheduled with that. And there's a thing that you need to take it every day, obviously. No, not take it, um, put it on. But it feels like the right thing because I, I, th I think I don't handle peaks very well at the moment. So moderate pace is better for me, <laughs> probably. So yeah, that's how it is right now. And I am very curious and I'm very excited. And I'm also nervous because I want to know my blood results and if see if everything's okay. But for now, I really have a good feeling about this. So that's very nice. Sometimes you buy things you don't really need. I, I need to thank a YouTuber for this. The YouTuber's name is... I don't know, I recently followed his channel because he was doing cool stuff with Final Cut Pro. And he also has an amazing bunch of, of, of Nerf guns. So, Peter Lindgren. Peter Lindgren. And I, I absolutely love his studio. And um, yeah, he basically is responsible that I now own this gun. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is so satisfying. <laughs> yeah, so I totally needed this and I can really understand why I bought this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.
washing machine is on. Sorry if you can hear it. My sleeping pattern for the last few days, it's not good. And as hard and as personal as this may seem, this is also a reality. My mind has been all over the place the last few days. And uh, not not to be wrong, I am, I'm, let me just place this out of the way because it, it's, it's very distracting for me. And I'm realizing the camera is a bit off. So one moment, I'm gonna change it like, okay, cool. I'm still very excited, but there is also, of course, another part where there is some kind of doubt and there is some kind of anxiety, fear, I'm not really sure uh, what's the right pronunciation in English, but nervousness. Because, like I said, as excited I am to start hormones in one and a half week, it's also something um, that is drastically going to change my life. Not only physically, but also emotionally. And that's something I I don't know the right words for it, and I, I don't I don't even know them in in Dutch. So it's it's not really doubt, but it is something like a feeling when you start something that is irrevertible. Yeah, sure, you can you can stop hormones um, anytime you want, but there is going to be um, if, if you're if you're further on in the process, there are going to be changes that are irrevertible. Uh, which is, for example, the lower voice, and I'm not going to say I'm not going to be excited about it because I really want a lower voice, but it is irrevertible. Yeah, that, those are some considerations, and it's like I said, it's not like that I'm that I don't really that I'm that it stops me from doing it, but it is something like in one and a half week I am going to start, and it's going to mean that there are going to be changes, and. I want to show, and perhaps it's also telling myself that it is okay to have these kinds of doubts, to have these kinds of thoughts that, oh my god, I'm actually pretty nervous about this because I don't know what is going to happen with my with my emotions. I don't know what is going to happen with um, with my body. Uh, is it something I is it going to be the way I want it to be? Sure, I, I feel like I will get comfortable, more comfortable. But emotional-wise, I mean, I think I got a, I got a nice baseline now with emotions. And um, <laughs> I don't really want that to change, but it is going to change. So I think it's fair to also share these thoughts because I believe I haven't check the video I recorded Monday, but I believe I was very happy and very excited and I was like in, in some kind of adrenaline rush where I'm like, oh, this is going to happen. And I still have that. I still feel like I have the twinkle in my eyes, uh, like this is really going to happen. But just to let you know that it is also okay to have uh, these doubts and that I have these doubts. I want to be fully aware of the process and I don't want it to be like when I look back, oh, this is something I missed. This is something I should have checked earlier. So... And obviously I, I talk about it with someone and I really need to check check in with myself um, and perhaps these moments are like these are good for that. Like check in, like, hey, are we grabbing everything? Are we, uh, are we in line? Are we okay? Am I okay? And I think I am, uh, absolutely. I'm a bit tired at the moment, gotta, gotta be honest with that. I'm a, I'm a li little bit tired with uh, just a couple of hours sleep. But it, that's also the combination of work and this and everything. The last video I called the start of my journey and obviously I've gone through a very long journey already but this feels like really the start of of a very huge process and I think more scarier than my whole tra social transition. I just wanted to let you know that and that's also why I haven't started with programming yet. Um, Maybe in the afternoon I will find some time to, to start working on um, on some things. But I also want to figure some things out. Thinking about doing an introduction in, in data science and how I see it. But we'll see. I think uh, for now, for me, it would be good to uh, check if Pika wants to come inside. Because she's been outside for a while now. Grab some lunch, drink my coffee, obviously. And I think go out for a walk. And although I'm, I'm tired, I'm, I think it would do me good to go out for a walk. So I think it's um, 
what's the word in English? I'm learning a lot of English words these days. I think it's sincere and honest to also share this. Because it's not all... Ja, roosgeuren maanschijn, zoals we dat in Nederland zeggen. <laughs> I don't know the English saying for that, but... Basically means that there are, where there are a lot of positive things, there are also downsides. And I think it's very important to also think about that, work through that, be realistic. Anyway, I'm going for a lunch and a walk and I'll see you later.